Hey everybody, it's Cookie, and I just want to let you guys know about a challenge that I'm about to start. So for the month of October, I am participating in the Inktober Challenge. I was challenged by Chad over on the art project. He challenged me, I think it was on Instagram, it may have been Facebook, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, yeah, but anyway, he called me out, he challenged me, and challenge accepted. It's on, let's go. We're gonna do this. So, yeah, I'm going to be participating in Inktober, and it is going to be my very first Inktober challenge to do. So I am really excited and also extremely intimidated a little bit. I'm, I don't do very well at monthly challenges. I tend to like start off great and strong and then as life takes over, I tend to usually taper off. So I'm going to try my best to do Inktober every day film a little bit every day i'm going to try to draw the prompts daily so if i don't do the illustrations daily my goal is to at least do one a week um or maybe two a week just in case if for some crazy reason i fall off the cart and i don't get to do the daily the daily illustrations i'm also intimidated for the fact that pen and ink is not my strong suit. Um, it's challenging. It is difficult for me. Um, as a digital artist, um, it's I find it incredibly challenging. Um, yes, there is Inktober, a digital form. I don't want to do that. I do digital art all the time, 24-7. So I want to be challenged by something that's outside of my usual comfort zone that's within my own career. Um, so that's another reason why I'm going to try my hardest to participate daily in this because I need that inspiration. I need that growth in those areas. And the best way to do that is just tackling this challenge head on. And so what is Inktober? Let's discuss it. I mean, a little bit about the Inktober challenge. It was originated by Jake Parker, and I'm actually going to put links down in the description below that tells the entire backstory about Inktober. Um, so the whole rules are... Your illustrations have to be in pen and ink, and so you can use like a little splash of color, but it mostly has to pertain to pen and ink. Um, that's why it's challenging, um, especially for those of us who love to use color. Um, working in mostly black and white and pen and ink is sometimes difficult for those of us like that. Um, there's also a digital art Inktober. So as a digital artist, I'm trying to stay away from reading that portion and not be tempted. <laughs> anyway, I don't know all the details on that part. I know, I think it mostly has to be black and white um, for digital illustrations as well. Uh, I think you have to start out with a sketch and then transform it into a digital art piece. Again, I I don't know all the details, I'm just going off of what I thought I saw on the website. Anyway, the challenge starts on October 1st. It's a worldwide challenge to all illustrators, artists, and creatives. Um, it goes through the whole month, so as you complete an illustration each day, you post it online and hashtag it Inktober. Um, also, hashtag Jake Parker as well, so that way it prompts to his page for search as well. So, um, well, I'll be doing Inktober in this journal, this 
creepy cool journal. Um, I've already started some of the prompt sketches. I didn't want to sketch on camera just because that's also intimidating. I like to just be able to slowly take my time and think through a sketch and I just didn't want to document that on camera. And these sketches are going to be rough. I'll show you. Yeah, they're going to be rough. They're going to be sketchy <laughs> at best. Um, again, because I'm out of practice and this is outside of my comfort zone. So I'm not even sure uh, <laughs> on my abilities. So, because um, I'm just so out of practice. But this is exactly why I need to do this. I'm so excited. So the challenge runs from October 1st to the end of October. There are prompts, which I will show you. Also the daily themes that you can do. You don't have to abide by those prompts or those themes. Um, you can illustrate whatever you feel like. Uh, Jake just includes those prompts as a creative um, stepping stone towards, you know, doing your illustration if, if you're kind of in a artist block or illustrator's block. Um, there's also other themes or prompts by other artists all over the web. So if you just do a, a search for Inktober themes um, in the interwebs, you'll find all kinds. There's like I've seen zombie themes, I've seen Halloween themes, Star Wars themes, Star Trek themes, um, all like DC comic themes, anime themes. I mean, it's endless. The possibilities are endless, which is really what's really great about it. So my theme <laughs> or my niche is going to be art and botanical illustrations if I possibly can, because this month's challenge uh, prompts or are going to be incredibly difficult to try to pin down to nature themes. So yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll end up abandoning that and then just do whatever comes to my mind. That could also happen too. So this is really one giant roulette. This whole challenge is going to be sketchy <laughs> at best. Anyway, um, so I'm very excited. So that's what's coming down the pike. So you can be sure to check out all of my Inktober videos on the daily um, as I go along. So anyway, thanks y'all for joining me on this quest. And also thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe at all the links down below. And until then, I'll see y'all later and bye. So the challenge is that you have to do an illustration per day in pen and ink. Um, of course, the rules doesn't stipulate that you absolutely have to. That's a, an, an, a requirement. Um, you can post twice a week, once a week, um, once a month. I mean, maybe once or twice a month that month because obviously the challenge is only in the month. You know what I mean. Not once a month, but like... Oh my gosh, I lost track of what I was saying.